Final Cut Pro has 163 built-in effects and this is how to edit them. As someone who's into video editing, I cannot live without effects. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to edit effects in Final Cut Pro, taking amateur videos to new heights. I'll show you eight tips when editing effects, including a trick to save your effects for later on. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can get $138 worth of effects for free. But first, let's edit some effects. Okay, we're in Final Cut Pro and your effects are all found in the effects browser and you can open that by clicking this button or pressing Command 5. The effects are broken down into categories. And then inside of each category, like this one, Blur, you have different effects that you can use. You can preview an effect by selecting your clip and then skimming over the effect in the browser. Here's a little pro tip. Hold down Option as you skim, and that will show you what the effect looks like, and it adjusts the main control in that effect. So for this one, it's blur amount. So when I go to the right, it shows it with a lot of blur. When I skim to the left, it shows it with less blur. Pretty cool. Option and skim. To add an effect to your clip, just drag and drop it, or if you have your clip selected, double click on the effect and it will be automatically added to your clip. To edit or remove effects, go to the inspector. If you don't see this open, just click on this button up here that has the three sliders and then go to the video inspector and you'll see an effect section and under there will be the effects we've added. You can remove an effect by deactivating it. This is great if you want to turn it back on later and want to use it. If you don't want it at all, select the effect and get this yellow box around it. Then press delete and it will be gone. The order of your effects is important as well. To reorder them, just click on the header and then drag it to move its order. So if I have blur first and turn that up and I've got our bloom turned on, here's what it looks like. But if I move bloom first and then we have the blur, you'll notice a difference. Let's edit some effects. Go to the effects browser and go to blur and let's edit the zoom. Drag and drop it onto your clip. And you'll notice we have some on-screen controls. We can move this around and what that does is this changes the focus of the zoom blur. Let's move it up here by the patient's head and we can adjust the amount of zoom with this on-screen control. We can also make those changes in the inspector. Amount is tied to this control here, and then the center is tied to this control here. You'll see as I move it that it changes in the inspector. We can also add some swirl to it, and we can change the look. Let's try a different effect. Go to color presets and scroll down and let's add warm to our video. Here's what it looks like with it and without it. It warms it up a little bit. This effect is a color board and we can edit that by going to the color inspector and we can see here that um, some changes have been made. The shadows have been, the midtones have been warmed up. Saturation has been changed. So we can come in here and we can change this. Maybe we want to make it a little bit warmer and we want some of those shadows to have that as well. So we'll move the shadows around. So here's what it looks like with the effect and without. We can also adjust the exposure. We can bring the shadows down if we want and the highlights up a little bit, or we can change the overall exposure with this one. Let's test another one. Go down to stylize and find bad TV and let's add it to our clip and play it back. Now it looks like this guy's on TV. Let's go to our video inspector and we can adjust some things. We can adjust the amount. We can make it really bad looking. We can select a different type of static. We can also select um, a blend mode for a different look. And we can adjust how much it rolls. Let's play it back now. Oh man, time to get a new TV, am I right? Final Cut Pro comes with a default 
effect. The color board is the default effect for Final Cut Pro. So if I select a clip and then press Option E, it will automatically add the color board to that clip. I can change the default effect. Just find the effect that you want to make your default effect, right click on it, and select Make Default Video Effect. Now when I click Option E, that effect is automatically added. If I want to reset the effect to the original default effect, go to Color, and right click on Color Board and select Make Default Video Effect. I hope your default action for this video is to give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying this video and it's been helpful, will you please give it a like so other people will discover this video? Thank you. Maybe you've spent a lot of time setting up some effects and you want to apply them to another clip. Instead of going back and adding the effects and making all the adjustments, there's a quick way to copy and paste effects from one clip to another. I've got this clip here and I've got three effects in it. I've got a color board in it, the prism effect, and camcorder. It looks like we're filming these people from around the corner. We're snooping. And I want to apply it to this clip as well. So I'll select my clip and press Command C. And then the clip I want to paste it to, I'll select it. And I'll press Option Command V. That pastes all of the effects and all of the changes to it to the new clip. If I only want to add some effects, then I need to paste attributes. You can do that by going to Edit, Paste Attributes, or pressing Shift Command V. Now I can select which effects I want to copy over. I don't want to take the color board or camcorder. I just want prism. Now I can press Paste, and the prism effect and any changes I made to it are applied to that clip. Another way to save a ton of time is to create an effects preset. So I've got these three effects on here, and let's say I want to use them on a future project. Well, I can go to the bottom of the inspector and click on Save Effects Preset. I can name it, let's call it Creepin', <laughs> and I can select the category I want it in. We'll put it in this Stupid Raisins, or I can even create a new category. And then I can select which of these effects or any changes to the video have been made that I want in this effects preset, and then click Save. Now I can go down to the effects preset to the Stupid Raisins category, and I see my effect called Creepin'. I can drag and drop it onto my clip, and it has all the effects with any of the changes made. This is a really fast way to use effects on other projects or other clips. Now that you know how to edit effects in Final Cut Pro, you're probably looking and itching for some new effects that you can test out these new skills on. Well, don't worry, I got your back. I put together a pack of free plugins, titles, effects, and transitions. It's called Freebie Pop. It's worth $138, but it's yours for free. Just click the link in the description below to get your free effects.